This is how you can make an add sticker command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or my Discord subscriptions over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier on YouTube, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If this is interesting for any of you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get started with the video so we can start by going over to moderation and we can go ahead and create add sticker js in here we're going to do const and we can get slash command builder we can get embed builder and we can get permissions bit field and we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js then we can do module.exports equals we can open this up we'll do data and we can do new slash command builder and go ahead and set a name and this is going to be add sticker we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to to be add a sticker to the server then we can go ahead and add an attachment option we can do option arrow function option dot set name is going to be sticker and then we can go ahead and do set description say upload the sticker png slash jpeg and we can do dot set required and we're gonna make that true then we can do add string option and we're gonna do option arrow function option dot set name and we can get our name and then we're gonna do dot set description and in here we can say the name of the sticker and then we can go ahead and set this required so set required and we're gonna make that true do comma we're gonna do async executes do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up and here we're gonna do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot manage emojis and stickers we can return await interaction dot apply and we can say content then we can say you don't have perms to upload stickers and we can go ahead and make this informal next we can do const upload equals interaction to options that get attachment and we can get our sticker attachment we can do const name equals interaction to options that get string and we're going to get our name string then we can do if name dot length is less than or equal to two we're going to return await interaction to apply and say content and we can say your name has to be greater than two characters and we can go ahead and make this informal we can do if upload dot content type equals 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 we're going to do image slash gif we can go ahead and return await interaction dot apply and we can say content and we can say you cannot upload gif files at this time and we can go ahead and make this informal and just like that next we're going to do await interaction dot apply and in here i'm just going to go ahead and get in a loading emoji that i have within my guild you can put in whatever emoji you want you don't even have to put in an emoji and i'm going to do loading your sticker i think this looks a little bit better than deferring a reply so i'm going to do that then we can do const sticker equals await interaction dot guild dot stickers create and then we can do file and in here we're going to do upload attachment and then we can do comma and we're going to get our name and that is going to be our name variable so next we're going to go ahead and catch an error so we can do catch error and we can open this up then we're going to go ahead and set a timeout so this way it's going to think a little bit here before we actually make a response we're going to go ahead and set this timeout to 2000 milliseconds aka two seconds make sure you do it to that exact number uh then we can go ahead and return interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and do content then in here we can do error dot raw error and then we can do dot message now i'm going to explain this a little bit so the reason we're actually setting a timeout is because we're deferring a reply and sometimes it takes a little bit of time to actually create the sticker because we are having to process this upload here so by the time we get an error we need to make sure we have enough time to actually edit it so it doesn't fail our interaction after that we can come down here and we can do const embed equals new embed builder and then we can go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue and then we can set a description and that is going to be your sticker has been added with the name and we can do backslash tick we can go ahead and open up our name and then we'll do another backslash tick so now we can go ahead and set another timeout so we can do this this, we'll open this up and this time our timeout is going to be set to 3000 milliseconds make sure you do that exact number that way we can defer it one extra second and then we're just going to do if no sticker we can just go ahead and return and then we can do interaction edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and we're going to leave that blank and then we can do comma embeds and then we can go ahead and do embed just like that so like i mentioned before we're actually setting this timeout so that if we get an error we can go ahead and wait a little bit before we actually check to see if there's a sticker because what's going to end up happening is while it's creating the sticker if it doesn't get an error within a couple of seconds it's going to move down here to execute the rest of this code so when it runs this sticker isn't going to be defined so if we go ahead and set it for a three second timeout then that error will not occur all right so without 
that we are actually done with this command. Uh, one other thing that I did notice when I was trying to restart, I misspelled attachment right here. Make sure you actually spell that correctly because otherwise this will not work. But with that, we can actually go ahead and restart the bot. So over on our Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out by doing slash add sticker. We can go ahead and click on it. And when we do, it's gonna go ahead and give us our upload button and a name. So we can actually drag our sticker from our desktop onto this, or we can just go ahead and click it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my logos file here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and select the Discord logo. And then I can just go ahead and give it a name. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, it's gonna say loading sticker with that loading emoji. And then it's gonna go ahead and give me an error message saying the maximum number of stickers reached uh, in my guild, meaning I have reached five stickers because I have zero boosts. So the reason this works is because it's gonna take the raw error message and edit in a reply if we actually get an error after that timeout happens. So if we go into our server settings and we go ahead and click on stickers, I'm just going to go ahead and remove Discord and I'm going to remove a couple of other ones right here as well. So now we can go ahead and add another sticker right here and let's just go ahead and check another error. Let's go ahead and say we upload a GIF and we go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's going to say you cannot upload GIF files at this time. So we can go ahead and do this a couple more times. Let's just go ahead and add the ESCII logo. So we can do ESCII. As you can see, it's going to say loading your sticker. And in just a couple of seconds here, it's going to go ahead and edit it saying your sticker has been added with the name ESCII. If we go over to stickers, as you can see, we now have a new sticker with the name ESCII. All right, so we can go ahead and try this a couple more times. I'm just going to go ahead and try to upload this video's thumb because the file size is going to be too big. We can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and load. And then it's going to go ahead and give us a different error message saying asset exceeds minimum size, which is right here. So basically, whatever error we get, it really doesn't matter. It's going to give us that exact error message so we don't actually have to write out a bunch of if statements. So let's go ahead and try to upload an installer. I don't really know why we do this, but you can pretty much upload anything you want. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and load. Now, keep in mind, the bigger the file you upload, the longer it's going to take for the command to actually register. So as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and say loading my sticker. Now keep in mind, it did take a lot of time because I was uploading a pretty big file. Now once it's done, it's going to go ahead and say my asset exceeds the minimum size just like it did before. All right, so we can just go ahead and try to upload one more and let's just go ahead and do this one. And this is not the correct format that it takes. So we can do server manager. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and load my sticker and it's going to go ahead and tell me that it's an invalid asset. All right, so this time I'm actually going to go ahead and upload a sticker. Let's just do this and we can go ahead and say logo and we can go ahead and send that in it's going to load my sticker here as you can see it's going to go ahead and add my sticker with the name logo and here it is just like that so that's how you can make a add sticker command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and just go ahead and join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video